rate of growth. Welcome back to Switzerland on Sky News, man. <coughs> Call me an optimist, but reporting season looked better than expected. But what does, or what do Anton Taliaferro of Investors Mutual and Paul Ricard of the Switzer Super Report think of the results? And has the assault and battery of our stock market since New Year's been excessive given these results? Guys, thanks for joining us. Thanks, Peter. We'll okay. fight about the deficit on another day. Okay. Uh, we'll fighting off screen. Now, let's talk about earnings season so far. What's your take on the overall um, reporting season? Yeah, look, it was mixed, but I think uh, overall industrial stocks did reasonably well, the yeah. ones in the right sectors. Uh, and we, we tend to concentrate on stocks with recurring earnings. So. Right. Packaging stocks, gaming stocks, utility stocks, mm -hmm. healthcare stocks, you know, a lot of those did quite well. Yeah. But then if you look at, uh, obviously, the resources sector, that's still, you know, tough and going to get tougher because commodity prices will be lower this year on average mm -hmm. probably than last year. Uh, anything in mining-related industries is doing it tough, so it's mixed, you know, it's mixed. What about the banks? Are the banks being unfairly beaten mm -hmm. up, or do you think, oh, the market's got it right? Look, the banks, I think uh, there is a bit too much fear at the moment mm -hmm. on this whole housing thing. I mean, I think there's no doubt some parts of the housing market are a bit overheated, but there don't seem to be any problems at this stage. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, the banks are being oversold. I think the hedge funds are having a, a field day, and uh, I wish they'd cut the shorts. You know, should, we, should we ban shorts? I think for sure. It doesn't add anything to the world. It just okay. adds money to traders' pockets. But we'll say, we'll uh, say that for another, another yeah. uh, topic. Now, Paul, yeah. what's your take on earnings? Look, I think overall pretty good, Peter. I mean, uh, I think you take away the resource companies, obviously, but if you look at the rest as in industrials and a uh, number of the healthcare companies, I mean, the, the hard data that people like uh, Shane Oliver from AMP and others, uh, you know, calculate. Uh, look, marginally better than expectations, dividends up a little bit and profits up a little bit. Yep. So, you know, all, the, all put it together, I thought it was pretty good. In fact, um, in fact, it's hard to think of too many really, really bad results, which I think uh, maybe leave us on BP, HP, but a <laughs> couple of resource companies. <laughs> sack but, Jack, Sack Jack. But yeah, uh, yeah. it's hard to think of too many bad results. Coming back to the banks, look, um, look, I think they're doing a bit tough. I mean, short selling is up. I put in some data today in the uh, Switzer Super Report. I mean, it's about double what it was 12 months ago. Really? So the average short on the major bank shares is now just over 2%. It mm. was about 1% this time exactly 12 months ago. Mm. So that's picked up. I mean, that doesn't mean much compared to some of the other names out there where, you know, it's not, not unnormal to see companies with 15% short sold, Woolworths was over 9%, but uh, it certainly is on the up, and uh, I think our banks are struggling, but I think there's there's value there, and in fact, Anton and I were having a little discussion about this <laughs> off, off uh, camera. Yeah. Were you agreeing or disagreeing? But we're largely in the same in the in the in the same ballpark. I mean, I think uh, you know, Commonwealth Bank uh, PE now. Uh, under 13, yielding 6%, National Australia Bank in the nines as a PE. I think there's there's value there. Okay, what about you? What do you what do you think? Look at the about banks. The banks. Yeah. yeah. Which, which ones do you think look like? screaming good value. Look, uh, NAB looks quite good. I think they've done all the hard work in terms of getting rid of all the bits they don't want. So it looks reasonably good. You know, the provisioning is good. Um, CBA is okay, a bit expensive, but it's good, great quality bank. You know, Westpac looks good. The one I'd be very careful of is uh, ANZ. Yeah. You know, and the one sorry, the Asian issue. Asian plus they've also they also lent big time in the resource sector. Mm. If you go on their website, they claim very proudly they're number one in resource <laughs> lending in Australia. So, uh, and the other one we've been buying, funny enough, is Clydesdale Bank. We've been buying a well. One of my viewers are asking about. You see, you, you're quite happy with what you see in, around Clydesdale. Well, Clydesdale was sort of jettisoned by the NAB, I suppose. It was always the thorn in NAB side. You know, they've so, they floated it off on 0.6 times book, so there's no goodwill. It's well provisioned. Uh, it's never been run, you know, very well, because it's always been this thing the NAB's wanted to sell. Yeah. They've got new management in there, and, you know, it'll take a, a year or two, but I think there's lots there to think they could do a good job and, and, and grow it a little bit. Now, you know? I remember we, we had a lunch sometime last year, and you were looking at Woolworths, and Woolworths have obviously got a CEO now. What do you think? And you actually know the CEO reasonably well, don't you? Or you had a, you I've had met a Brad, yeah, yeah, I've met Brad. Look, look, I mean, Is it's... Woolworths worse behind them, do you think, or still a little bit more pain? It's getting towards the bottom, but it's a big ship to turn around. So I think, you know, if you've got a three to five year view, you'll start looking at them around the 20 to $22 mark, mm. but don't expect a quick fix. Because, you know, again, the other thing is, you know, Aldi and Carl's are not going to sit there and watch Woolworths turn it around. So look, they'll, they'll, do, they'll do a lot of things that they can do better, 
but it's it's a big ship to turn around. Paul, well, well, I think they've done two out of the four things: getting a new CEO in place, Brad Benuki. He's got a really good reputation. I know him so uh, like Anton. Uh, so th th and they've and they've made a decision around masks. They've still got to get rid of it, but uh, they've made the decision. So that's two out of the four things they have to do. Supermarkets is not fixed, and nor is Big W. So, look, I mean, if you look at the company in the report, was also the uh, second quarter sales results. Uh, on a like-for-like -like basis, comparable stores in the big category, you know, food and alcohol. Um, you know, Coles, uh, Coles was up 4.9%, Woolworths was up half a percent, you know. Mm -hmm. In the uh, general merchandise category, you know, second quarter sales, uh, Kmart, I think, was 9.5% and Big W was still minus 3.5% mm -hmm. mm -hmm. or something. Mm -hmm. So, look, they haven't turned it around yet. This, uh -huh. And it, this is going to take time. And if you looked at the report, a lot of margin. They've been cutting margin to, <clears throat> to hold share. Yeah. Uh, so I don't think this is over. So look, at some stage, look, they're in the value category, but I'm with you, Anton. Take, I don't expect... It'll take a while. Yeah. I think the reaction we've seen the last couple of days is a bit of short covering. There's some, some massive short positions. If you saw 20, would you buy 20, Paul? Yeah, probably around 20, I'd have a nibble. But around I, I the 18 to 20, yeah. it starts to look... Quite interesting. I don't, right? I don't think we've seen the bottom of Woolworths necessarily. I don't think, I think it's to... going to be a while. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. Okay, what about Wes Farmers? Um, the market's been pretty hard lately. <clears throat> it's going overseas. Australian companies going overseas haven't always done that well. I, what don't, do you think? I don't think that's the issue. I mean, obviously, the retail side's doing well. You know, right. Bunnings is doing well, Coles is doing well, Kmart, Target, that's all doing well. Uh, the bit that's hurting them is obviously their coal Resources. and industrial bit, which is obviously dragging the chain. I don't think the overseas expansion is that material at this stage. Stage. And they've bought something for what, 800 million? Okay, it's a lot of money for you and I, yeah. but for a 40 or 50 billion dollar company, you know, it's, it's a measurable amount. They've bought something profitable, they've bought it quite small. I think they're going to use it as a beachhead, have a look, and, and take it from there rather than charge in boots and all. Okay, let's talk about the sexy companies Blackmores, Bellamy's, <laughs> um, Domino's, Seek. Seek's come good as well. Um, uh, Webjet. Are these companies that we still can get on board? Poor. Look, I don't know about Blackmores and, and Bellamy's. Um, Froth and Bubble, I've <laughs> I saw the two hundred dollars. Froth and Bubble, yeah. I saw the two hundred dollars in Blackmores a couple of months ago. I wished I'd bought some at twenty dollars, yeah. and then probably wished I'd sold some at two hundred dollars, mm -hmm. but I didn't. Um, look, I'm a bit wary because they've had such great runs. I mean, I, 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 I like Seek. I mean, I like a company like Ramsey, which keeps on delivering. You know, awesome. half year and half year out, it just keeps on delivering. Uh, Look, Anton probably knows a lot more about that part of some of those companies than I do, so maybe it's, it's better. So what's, what's your best sexy company out there? I don't buy sexy companies. <laughs> okay. I let sexy companies for sexy people, Pete. Okay, uh, right. I, oh. I, like, I like big, solid companies. <laughs> okay, right. Well, for give us a solid good, solid, solid company. company. Uh, Pact Group, which packages, uh, does uh, you know, rigid plastics, mm. growing by acquisition, very good CEO who's just come over from the US. Mm. Uh, Clydesdale, as I said, established yeah. bank, trading a 0.6 times book uh, with the new management team. Fletcher Building's been underperforming badly, you know, it's, it's down to a P of 10 or 11, uh, one of Australia, uh, New Zealand's largest companies. Uh, you know, those Steadfast is one we've, we've liked for a long time, that's done well. So a lot of companies, I, I think what we've said for a long time is the economy's going to be tough yeah. and you've got to identify companies that can grow either by acquisition, yeah. by taking market share, uh, by um, regulated growth, you know, uh, that, that's the sort of thing you've got to well, look One quick question you know. about, I know, I know a little bit of time, the percent of people, do you think, are you, are you afraid of another big leg down or do you think the worst of that is probably behind us? I don't think the worst is necessarily behind us, but I, I think you've, you've got to get some lead from the US. The US to me looks like it's a very pivotal point. But they say this sort of 1950 level, sort of pretty important if, if it, it's got to, you know, it's cut recovery, it. it needs to go up. Um, I don't think we'll see the worst behind us, but I think I'm still fairly confident six months' time will be higher than where we are today. And, um, Anton? I think industrials um, have got to a level now, their yields, you know, I think the one thing that's definitely going to, you know, this whole economic environment um, confirms is that interest rates are going to stay low, mm. you know, for a long, long time. So I think when you can buy good quality stocks like Spark Infrastructure, like Pact, whatever, on yields of 5, 6, 7 percent, uh, with recurring earnings, you know, defensive earnings, with a little bit of growth, I think those stocks, you know, on any weakness, they're a buy. So I think a lot of those stocks reached very attractive levels. They've bounced a little bit, but they're not that far from the bottom, those sort of companies. Are Guys, thanks for your insights. Anton Taliaferro from Investors Mutual and Paul Rickard from the Switzer Super Report. After the break, we'll review the results of carsales.com and Super Retail Group with their respective leaders.